Welcome to the Morning Sanity Check, where we talk about the different pillars of resilience, spiritual, physical, social, and mental. Join us so we can talk about it, then be about it. Let the show begin. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Sanity Check. My name is Seth. And I'm Camille. Hey, good morning. Yes, and happy, happy New happy Year's, New Year. everybody. I know it's been a minute, but yeah. we had to make sure everything was good to go on this end and on your end. And it was long overdue, especially yeah. because it seems as though... Uh, the world can use a little bit of a sanity check. You understand what you think, Camille? Man, I tell you, it's been uh, 2020 was great, mm-hmm. um, you know, and for a lot of us have a lot of stuff go on and everything like that. But again, that's why we're here. It's perspective, right? Yes. 2021 has showed its head. And so we need to give people some some perspective, you know, how to make uh, things I guess how to be productive despite everything that's going on in, in, in 2021. Yeah. So we're here to give you this sanity check because we need one too. Don't we? <laughs> Don't we? Yes, we do. Yes. And uh, Camille said uh, 2020 showed his, his head. I feel as though 2020 showed his ass a couple okay. of times, okay? Did a lot of things to a lot of people. and but, um, but at the same time, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, cuz. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Let us know where you're at right now and how you feel, right? It's more than just saying good morning. It's, hey, it's it's an action word. Good morning, because I want it to be good, you see? And, and that's what we're going to talk about today is the promises for yourself, okay? The promises that you're making for yourself this year. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please think about it. Think about what it is that you want to do this year and beyond, okay, that you are going to make a promise and a commitment to do. And how important that is because you can tell anybody anything, right? You ever see those people, Camille, on Facebook, they they tell everybody and their mama what they go do, right? So I'm about to do this. And, you know, they get the little likes and everything, but after that, you need to go and do it. You see what I'm saying? Because I think sometimes we get the feeling or we feel so good about letting people know and getting the affirmations on something we didn't even do yet. Now, what do you think about that? It's so true. It's so true. Everybody wants to go through the, you know, new year, new me type thing. Everybody wants to, okay, well, that was last year. Last year it was a hard year, so I didn't get to get around to what I was going to do. So, you know, this year, oh, it's going to be the year. I'm going to tell everybody so they can hold me accountable. But this has been the same tune you've been singing for the last how many years? You know? it. <laughs> Just tooting it like nobody's business. Just been going on and going on and ain't did Nathan. You Nathan, understand? So. <laughs> Not a thing. So well, tell me, how, how important is it for you, Camille? So it's really, really important. Uh, and, and I call it, you know, we're making promises to ourselves or setting your intentions for the year. Some people call it New Year's resolutions. Whatever term you choose to use, it really is important because it gives you a, a kind of a future outlook um, to where you want to be or what you want to achieve, you know, what life you want to create for yourself or what, um, you know, thing that you've been procrastinating that you say, okay, this is the year. So it's really, really important because when you set that intention or you make that promise to yourself, um, you put that out in the atmosphere, you write it down or whatever, you tend to do things that are in line with uh, that goal And so you start finding yourself doing things that, you know, will get you to that area. So if you just walk into somewhere, you be like, I don't know, whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens is going to happen. Exactly. You (laughs) know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So to your point, yes, we do need to be intentional. You get what I'm saying? It's one thing to talk about what you're going to do, but like really surround yourself with the with the people or put yourself in in the equation or in the situation or in the atmosphere to 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 make it you know cultivate into something right and so ladies and gentlemen what do you guys think and you too camille about purposefully being uncomfortable 
to achieve what you say you want. Like, for example, you and I both know if we want to, let's say, for example, lose weight, it's not going to feel good, right, initially. But I personally would say, hey, let's attach the feeling of how we're going to feel when we do, you know, when we achieve our goal. What do you think about that? I mean, you have to you have to give whatever you are intending to do or your goal meaning. If it does not have meaning, if it's not in line with your values, you're not going to have the motivation to achieve it, period. You know, I'm not going to do what I don't want to do. If it mm-hmm. don't feel good to me, if there's no reason for me to do it, if I can continue to eat all these donuts and, you know, do whatever, whatever, and, you know, I'm not worried about my health, then it really means nothing. That's just wasted energy that you can put out there and everybody looking at you like, instead of going this way, you're going this way. Right. Like, what's going on, you know? <laughs> so, so you have to assign meaning, you know, attach your values to it because that is what catapults you, pushes you, motivates you to accomplish it because mm-hmm. it means something to you. Why do you want to lose weight? See. Is it just because you want to look good for the summer and then next summer you're going to be back? Yeah. Or is it because you see a, a pattern of um, unhealthy eating in your family that has caused some disease and you have children you want to be around and healthy for your children? Mm-hmm. When you attach that meaning to it, it pushes you a little bit harder to achieve that goal because it's not just, you know, something I'm saying to look good on the outside. It's an inside job. That's right. So, That's right. Or or yeah. just or just waiting and looking for external validation, right? Yeah. So yes. it is one thing. It's one thing to do things for a reason that's going to last, right? Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. But it's another thing because you want to get on and you know, you, you want to um uh involve yourself with a challenge, you know. Right. Yes. I, I think my butt getting no, it ain't. Stop it. It ain't doing it. See, look what right. you're doing. See, you're putting yourself out there in the atmosphere. Let's go stay there, right? Let's go stay on the internet, right? Everybody in your mom going to see you thinking your butt getting big because you want to do a little challenge, right? So ask right. yourself, what is it that you want to do? So look, Camille, give us some, what type of promises do you think individuals can can give themselves if they don't have any? Okay, so for me, um, and I'll, I'll just use myself as an example. So my uh, word this year, I know it sounds superficial, but it really isn't, okay? It's fee, F-E-E. And that really means uh, focus, expression, and expansion. So fee, as you guys know, we do the sanity check. We both have businesses on the side, um, you know, and so I need to focus my energy in my own business, you know, express myself in there because uh, who I am, you know, I can only be me. So that has to permeate through everything I do and then to expand my own business. Mm -hmm. So it's that. And the other thing was that I also said I want to go from free to fee. And that doesn't mean necessarily monetarily, but it what means is freeing myself um, from that fear, freeing myself from uh, the responsibility or the fear of responsibility I had uh, to, you know, this is my brand, you know, I have to be responsible for these things, freeing myself from the expectation that everybody else has for me. Come on, you look, know look, what look, I mean? look up, and Camille. Then, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, I need you to look in. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. I need you, know, you to look up in here. Up. Look, look, like, look over you know, here, Camille. Here. You huh. see, come on. What's that? You ready? That? See, listen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what y'all don't know, and I go do it all. I ain't gonna put it all out there, but see, we're all in the the state of transition. You see, yes. Camille also is in one. All, me too, right? We're all in yes. one, especially if you're if you have a growth mindset. You have to, right? Mm-hmm. But then mm-hmm. there are certain things you have to be able to let go. To let God, if that makes yes. sense, right? Hey, listen, hallelujah. No, nah, <laughs> I ain't no preacher, so I ain't gonna do that. But what I'm saying is, we all have everything we need in us yes. already. You understand? It's already in you. So what I would like to do for for this year is to promise myself to give myself permission to use that god-like and god-given gift you see hey watch this without asking permission to do it you see because look not everybody's gonna pick up what i put down not everybody's gonna dig it but absolutely i dig me i dig you camille 
Uh huh. Hey, I dig you too. Do, do you right on? Listen, everybody that's out there right now, I dig you. But the thing is, it's not about what, how much I dig you. It's how much mm-hmm. you dig you. Do that make sense? So we have to give ourselves permission, permission to be great. Yes. Because if not, you're going. Watch this. If not, you're going to continuously get that external validation from somebody else. And what happens when they have a heart attack? You know, see, yeah. look, look, what, what happens when they have a, a down day and they can't mm-hmm. give you what you need no more? Where are you going to find it? Exactly. And a lot of people do that. They look for that and then they're lost because they have not attached any meaning, their own meaning to life. You know, we all are in search of the meaning of life. You know, what's, you remember that song? What's the meaning? Mm-hmm. What's the meaning of life? Yep. But anyway, so that's, you know, man's like biggest question. What is the meaning of life? Mm-hmm. Um, and when we go about doing these things and setting these goals, we have to attach our own meaning to that. So that even if the external forces or people fall away, we still have an internal drive to, you know, accomplish that. We still have a commitment to ourselves to accomplish that goal, you know. So, Seth, I want to ask you before we go, because I told you my free defeat, and it really is giving myself permission, Mm -hmm. letting go of all the fears that, you know, hold you back, those self-limiting beliefs and stuff, and then becoming focused on that goal Mm -hmm. and doing things to intentionally get there. Mm -hmm. So what is your word for this year or words or acronym, whatever you want to call it? Hmm. So did you set one for yourself? Actually, I have. And it, it it came to me when I had a conversation with a mentor of mine. And it's 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 birthed into the beginning of uh, another book, the part two of the Black Collar Mindset. But it's moving at the speed of passion. See, because what happens is when you... When, 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 when you uh, really move and operate in the realm that you are called to operate in, from the outside looking in, hey, you you doing too much. Hey, wait, maybe you just need to slow down. Hey, wait, no, mm-hmm. wait a minute. This is my train, you dig? Right. So we already talked about the train, right? Chug and chug and don't get in front of it because I have the audacity to run you over. But what I'm saying is moving in the speed of passion, ladies and gentlemen, that is mine. Because if there's things that I want to do, who am I waiting for? You you see what I'm saying? And listen, we don't know our time or how much time we have left. And I'm not going to sit here and wait for the Rona to take me out. I ain't going to sit here and wait for somebody to give me the validation that doesn't matter. Chances is, chances are I don't like them anyway. So what am I really doing? So yes. moving at the speed of passion. And, that, and, that, and that's real. Like, for example, here we are. We got the show. Mm-hmm. All right. Then we're going to be on Netflix, not Netflix, like Netflix, right on Roku here pretty soon. Right. And mm-hmm. and Amazon Fire Stick and and then and I'm running for city aldermen and, you know, things of that nature. But why? Because I want to. What am I? Right. Look, wait, watch this. Who said I can't? Exactly. You know, I was on this thing today, Seth. Um and you know about the training that we do i'm always in some sort of training mm-hmm. but that was the thing that we were talking about you know i said that was a lot of thing um you know those people in your room um people that said that i couldn't do certain things you know i was like oh i could show you better than i could tell you Watch. you know Watch and it, it was an internal thing drive it mm-hmm. wasn't necessarily to prove them wrong but it was something that i was uh, passionate about wanted to do already but it just gave me the motivation and fueled that you know drive in me that said oh mm-hmm. you think i can't do it i know that i can so i could show you better than i could tell you that's you know right. don't believe me just watch that's right and I, I love when that song that, came yeah. out that was during that time of transition yeah it was. But- <laughs> You know, yes. so absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. Who says I can't? Why can't I? Mm-hmm. You know, I am fully resourced. I have everything that I need to succeed. I know that. We just have to tap into it. You know, we have to dig deep. And I'm, I'm preaching to myself. Hey, I know. I said, hey, watch this. I got a new one. There you go. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. 
<laughs> that's yeah, why we have a, conversations like that. Hey, but look, that's why it's a sanity check, ladies and gentlemen. That's what, why this yeah. is a sanity check. And there's times we have to check ourselves. You know, we have to. Like, how, how good could we be to you if we couldn't be great to ourselves? Absolutely. You get what I mean? So, hey, look. Mm, mm, mm. No, that's the word. But I, I want to, um, you know, kind of, for me, I, I know I talked about, you know, setting intentions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't understand, like, um, and I want to say two things, the difference between your affirmations and setting intentions, which are really, really important. Um, you don't change the goal. <laughs> okay. No. Don't change the goal. But intentions really help you to do the things that are required to get where you want to be. Absolutely. And there's a, um, there's a, a, a quote somebody said, and it says, to choose a life, you know, the goal is to choose a life that is not wasted but to center our energy on pursuits of lasting value is one of the best decisions that we can make yeah. and it's those intentions this is what i intend to do um in order to to uh to achieve that goal you know and so um it's like that thing that goes real deep you know it is mm-hmm. the thing that that boosts you that gives you strength you know you want to grow um in that process and intentions are the process of the goal you know what i mean that is the thing those little things that you do consistently every day today you know i said i wanted to my goal i want to expand my business i want to grow my business well what do i intend to do today to get me where i want to be you know Today, I'm committing to um, doing the research that I need. Today, Mm -hmm. I'm committing to, and these are just examples, you know, finding somebody to build a website. Today, I'm committed to um, creating some sort of content. So those are my intentions. And so another thing that I I just want to say this, that I had to start scheduling my intentions too. (laughs) Because, you know, if we don't plan our day, the day will just happen. Or, or... You. Or, so, yeah, there you go. Somebody else yeah. will, you know, yeah. especially when you can't say no. Hold right. on. <laughs> Listen, check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to really think about this. You can't set intentions if you don't know how to free yourself by saying no. Yes. No mm-hmm. is okay. Yes. You dig? It's all right. So, first of all, if this is your first time here, I want to say good morning. Good morning to the Senate check, right? Because that's what we're here to do, to check your neck and to make sure that you're going into 2021 right on time, okay? But the good thing that we're, that we're talking about is setting intentions, you know, intentions and making sure you're able to say no to some mess. You dig? You got to say no, because how can you get to plan B when you still add A? You ain't even finished A, but everybody is giving you their plan A, Bs, and Cs. And you're like, yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, Hey, stop yourself. You can't look. Do, look, you can do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. You can do anything you want, but you can't do everything. This is true. You dig? And, and here's a here's a tip for that. You know, when you schedule your day, it's easier to say no. Mm-hmm. Um, when you and, and I'm, I'm going to show you guys very quickly my schedule for one day and it has everything I intended to do or whatever. So that when people come and ask you to do certain things, you look at your calendar and you're like, oh, I can't do it. And it's easy because my calendar is full. <laughs> my whole day is planned out from. That was from 7 a.m. all the way until 9.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. And so I can say that confidently mm-hmm. that I don't have time or I'm unable to do that because I don't have room in my schedule. And some of the things might have been like I took my daughter to school or I worked on a grant or, um, you know, on this particular day, you know, I gassed up my vehicle. But guess <laughs> what? <laughs> It was scheduled in my day. All of those things happened. And so I didn't have time um, for all of that other stuff. Mm-hmm. So it, it it allows you to say, if for people that have a hard time saying no, it allows you to say no in a truthful and much nicer way than just saying no. You know, or I can't do it right now because I have all these things on my schedule. Let me check back with you at some time if I have. This. And if you don't get back, you know, just don't get back. But if you don't want to do it. But you can say that honestly uh, because your day has already been scheduled. Very true. And ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to be as assertive as Seth, right? Because listen, <laughs> I would tell you, you know, with a smile, right? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm straight. Can't do it. Hey, yeah. bro, hey, what did what did he say? Hey, ain't got nothing for you, man. 
Ain't got nothing for you. I ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got it, I ain't got it. Hey, listen, you can't squeeze, you know, water from rock. You dig? If I'm already <laughs> extended. But yes. Um, yes, yes. I'm looking for something mm-hmm. right now. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, those of you that have businesses or inspiring to have those businesses. And this is very, very deep to my heart and close because uh, yes, booked and busy. Yes. Uh, so this is deep and, and close to my heart. I'll tell you why. Because there are individuals that will try to, in a lack of better terms, test you. Okay. What I mean by that is we have individuals that have that, that don't have a problem uh, asking you to do things for free. Okay, now I don't know about you, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but see if we are um, talking about having a a business and not a business, mm-hmm. there's certain things that you just cannot do for free to sustain your 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 business. You understand? Mm-hmm. So look, why th- why look for this, Camille? You t- tell me your thoughts about that. As far as promising yourself moving forward to twenty twenty one for the rest <laughs> of it, what is it that you're going to tell yourself and other people? Mm-hmm. So really, my um, I, I've been thinking a lot about that question actually, Seth. And um, for me, it is that um, I am fully resourced. I have to tap into those resources that I have and the resources that are available to me um, in order to really push myself to my full potential. And so I keep saying that. I keep doing the work um, on myself. I keep following up with those things. And here's another one. Here's a quote that just, you know, it resonated with me and I just have to uh, tell you guys that. So it was a quote that I heard and it said, the uniqueness that is expressed from your soul is the exception to the statistic. Mm. All right. The uniqueness that is expressed from your soul is the exception to the statistic. What that, when I heard that quote, you know, it was in the time I was in the military, people were like, Oh, your personality is too bubbly for this career field or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're different. You don't. And I'm like, I know I'm different. And so I tried to fit in the mode that I didn't belong. To, Absolutely. That I wasn't created for. Right. Mm-hmm. And so then I had heard that quote and I said, you know what? It's the uniqueness about me, the thing about me that's not like everybody else that opens doors for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the the whatever it is that I bring. I don't know what that you know, I can't really say what it is for myself, but um, just being uniquely me has allowed me in rooms that I should not be in. That has opened doors for me that has had other people open doors like, nope, nobody can do it like you, you know, and I tried to shy away from that and fit and do things the way other people did. But it was when I heard that that um, that quote, you know, it's the exception to the statistic. They tell you you won't be able to make it being who you are. You too bro bubbly or you too this and this and that. And it was that very thing that made me successful. You know what? So, don't, don't you hate it too? That was people would say you won't make it out the military. Right. You know hey, <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> get your get out my damn face. You know what I'm saying? Goodness and gracious. so I had to really, you know, that's one of the things that I keep telling me that, you know, whatever it is, my uniqueness, that I can't do it like anybody else. So I just need to do more of me, you know, that expression, express myself in the way that I know how, express the, myself in the gifting that I have. And that will be the exception to the statistic. People will wonder, how does she get there? Mm. Well, it was because I'm being my authentic self. There you go. You know who God created me to be, and I'm allowing that to permeate everything that I do. That's so, right. So, um, you know, that was one of the things that um, I'm really just being me, mm-hmm. you know, and being okay with who I am and developing that and refining it. And, you know, it's going to do things for me. I, I just, I'm, I'm hopeful that it does. And as long as I do the work, you know, continue to do that. So, yeah, it will. Yeah. It so will. what about you? I know that, you know, we, we talk a little bit here and there. But uh, what is that thing for you, you know, um, that you're telling yourself hmm. this year? Oh, boy. You know, you, you I know, know what? we got a lot of things going ooh, on, ooh, Mr. Alderman. I, no, we sure do. But, but look, yes, and, and happy to have all these things going on. But before I go into it, though, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to say good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Sanity Check. If this is your first time, don't. 
let it be your last time right on and we're going to take a minute to uh get it in with our sponsors and if you're interested in being a sponsor just chat Put in the chat, says, I'm interested. Raise your hand, said, me too, right? Whatever it is that you want to do. But uh, we will be right back. Integrity Consulting and Professional Services, LLC, is a minority, female-owned, nonprofit management consulting agency located in Humble, Texas, north of Houston. The owner, Jackie Dozier, has over 36 years of nonprofit and for-profit business management experience. She can take your idea from thought to manifestation while offering a myriad of services to help you successfully manage your business along the way. Her services include state filing anywhere in the United States, getting your employee identification number and 501c3 tax determination, providing cooperative and service agreements and mandatory documents, one-on-one -on -one grant writing training and consultation, board and staff development, and more. Ms. Dozier's clients include the U.S. Departments of Health and Human Services, the Administration of Children and Youth, U.S. and Caddo Parish, Louisiana Departments of Education, and the list goes on. References are available. Check her out on our Facebook page, Integrity Consulting and Professional Services, LLC and contact her by email at integrityconsultingpsllc at gmail.com. Rates are competitive. Say you heard about her on Sanity Check for a 5% discount. ICPS, providing all of your small business and grant writing needs with integrity and professionalism. Right, all right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the Sanity hey. Check. And yes, this is good, 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 good. Listen, we're having a great time talking about promises that we're making for ourselves for 2021. And it's good. It's real good. So, Camille, you asked me a question. What was that question? I was asking, what are you doing? You know, um, in your life, you have a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. But what are you telling yourself um, you know, about yourself to get you where you want to be. Mm. Well, I sip on my hustle juice, <laughs> right? You know, what I'm telling myself is that it's okay. What people do or what people, watch this, what people don't do, it's mm -hmm. all right. Because what we do is sometimes we put individuals on a very high pedestal as though they will not let you down. They will let you down. But, hey, hey watch this. They will let you down, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's all right. But you have to understand, and this is what I'm telling myself, watch trends, okay? Because people show you how they prioritize you. You dig? Not oh, yeah. them. So don't 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 wrap your mind around say, well, if I was in that situation, I'd do this for you. Okay. But they're not you. So uh -huh. I have to tell myself, Seth, say what? You wouldn't do that. I know I wouldn't. So they, but they would. Yeah. And they yeah. did. Hey, so watch this. Believe them. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? So Absolutely. it's okay. So what you don't do for me, uh -huh. you know, or with me, I'm it's gonna be okay. And yeah. But what I don't want to do is hold on to those uh, grudges or being able to say, hey, well, since you didn't do what I would have done, I'm going to cut you off. No, I just know how to deal with you. It's OK. Absolutely. And I hear this thing, too, is really trusting yourself. You just said that we like, you know, put other people on this high pedestal yes. and then, you know, they disappoint you and you feel like everything's coming down. Guess what? You got your own two feet to stand on. You see? Put them babies on the ground and keep walking. Keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Keep, <laughs> keep it, it pushing. pushing. And that really is trusting ourselves. Like you said, that we have everything that we need. You know, people are not going to handle situations or people um, the way that we will. And we want other people to prioritize us. We're not even prioritizing ourselves. There it is. Make yourself 
your priority. There it is. There and then it you ain't got to worry about nobody else prioritizing. Absolutely. So you know? hold on, wait, I got it. I got it. Hold on. Let me, let me get this because I want to make sure the, uh, our aspiring business owners that's out there and that, uh, individuals say, Hey, you know, this would be a great opportunity for you. This, this would be, you know, this, this you know, this, this would be great. This would be great. Uh, hold on. It says, how do you push past doing something you're uncomfortable with when it's essential all right, uh, mm-hmm. to your pro- to your success. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, so here, here, let me, let me give you all this though real quick. All right, so how to say I'm not doing it for nothing. You understand? Listen, I'm not doing this just for my health. Listen, you cannot put gas in your tank with love and energy. Free to pee. You Free dig? To pee. So here it is. But look, this is how you can say this without sounding like Seth. Okay, you ready? Because I'm a little bit of a, 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 a let's just say I'm assertive to a degree. So here's one. Thank you for thinking of me. That sounds like a great fit. Can I check uh, whether it's a paid uh, opportunity. See, yes. thank you. Yes. Here's another one. Love that. You see, isn't that nice? Isn't that bubbly? Isn't that good? Yes, say it here, with a smile. Say it with a smile. Here's another one. <laughs> this sounds like such an interesting project. Here's a link to the current services I offer. I think XXX uh, would be the best fit. Or here's a copy of my media kit, which includes my rates. You yes. see, so you, you got to make sure you be ready to receive this bread. You see, which means you got to have rates, right? You got to have <laughs> rates to say, check my rates. OK, it's Setting a difference. Your intentions. You see, you got to make sure your intentions are you're, you're right, because you can't have a business with a business mindset. Yes. Get it together. Here's another one. I give you the last one. Thank you so much uh, for considering me. For this, unfortunately, I'm unable to take on any unpaid projects at this moment. But if that changes in the future, I'd love to get back in touch with you. Yes. Come on now. All very pleasant. In the All pleasant. Very pleasant ways to say you're not getting my services or, anymore for free. <laughs> hey, watch this. Or you got me twisted. Because if I've been doing something for 20 something years and you're like, hey, look, this would be great exposure for. Well, hold on. You. You found me so uh, it's, i must have enough exposure that you're interested you see so let, let's let's treat each other right what you think about that camille absolutely and i think there's some people on here who uh have experienced the same thing here in the last few uh weeks months or whatever hey minutes you probably me out because mm-hmm. you felt that i had what it took and mm-hmm. now you want to pimp my services for free pimp them. like you know it, but you'll go and you'll pay somebody else So why is it any different with me? And why is it a problem? You know, and then the other thing is people like, oh, that's just too much. Well, why don't we negotiate something? You know, maybe you can't have all the services, but maybe there's something that, you know, I can provide for you, you know, that's within your budget that will help you along your way. Mm -hmm. But people's pride get in the way, their ego get in the way, Mm -hmm. and you know, because you expect that that person is going to continue to give you everything. But Mm -hmm. it's time. It's time. I I had to realize this too. That's your time, your research, your energy that you're taking away from other things. A lot of people, you know, ask you things that they can look up themselves or whatever the case (laughs) may be. And then they want to be on the phone for like, you know, and and there's some people, don't get me wrong. I absolutely don't care. And if I say call me or whatever the case may be, they know who they are and they can call me. If I say that, I mean it. But then there's those other people that just come in and pop in and they like, and then they're like, oh, and the next thing you know, it's four hours later. You know, and they trying to get you to do everything. Oh, hold on, let me write that up. Wait, wait a minute. So now you trying to get my services. So there are some things that you give, some things you have to create boundaries. That's it. You know? that, that was right there on my time. Hey, boundaries. set boundaries. Because listen, yes. if you have, if you say, hey, I'm going to give this person a 15 or 30 minute free, free. consultation, do that. <laughs> Okay, but listen, be, learn when to cut the conversation short. Listen, we got things in our lives that we may experience that sometimes you just got to pinch off. You see what I'm saying? Pinch it off. It's okay. Yeah. Listen, look, because if not, they're going to keep on running and coming to you. You know, yeah. next time we yeah. come on back, say, hey, you remember that last conversation we had? Look, this is how much, all right, to continue the conversation. And say, hey, right. how's everything going? It's still going good? Cool. How your mom and them? All right. Now, going back to the business, this is how we're moving forward. 
You know what I'm saying? No love yeah. loss, though. None at all. And I, I'm, I'm going to ask, my mom had put up there, and she said, Seth and Camille, is this a black thing? Um, you know, to want your services for free. Here's, 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 here's my thought about listen, it. Listen, okay? listen, hold on, go ahead. You say what you say, and I'm say what okay. I say. Right I'm be, I already know I'm going to be a little more dip, dip, diplomatic than you are. But here's my thing. So we talk about, like, black-on-black black crime, right? Mm. It's proximity. It's yes. proximity. Yes. Usually when we have businesses, our customers tend to look more like us or we're in areas where there's more of us. So our interactions with those people are um, are far greater than other ones at times. And so it may seem like that. Um, I have found, though, that because my circle is pretty diverse, that other people, other, uh, you know, races, nationalities, whatever, experience the same thing within their own cultures. So I think it's just the proximity. We like to support Black-owned businesses. So, you know, those of us who are African-American or people of color, uh, we do support each other. Um, and then we try to get that discount. But then here's the other thing. You know, whether it's ingrained or not, there's this 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 stereotype or this stigma or this you know really unfair um, uh, representation of us that says um, that black people don't give as good service as white people or as other nationalities and I just don't believe that to be true we are excellent now if they have the same issues you go to an Indian mm -hmm. store you know they just as rude and obnoxious and, and and price gouging as anybody else you know but we still go to that Indian store you know but in our own community we tend to I hear it a little bit more and we tear them down and you know they ain't this and this and that now we can all improve let me say that we can all improve because I've also dealt with some folks too that have been the same thing. Customer service is not there, but then I'm going to go find somebody else with excellent service and I'm going to patronize them, you know, it, it, as well as give them some tips. But um, I think that it's more prevalent with us because our customers tend to, you know, these are who we're dealing with, but you know, we all have the same issues. All right, Seth, go on and give it to me. I see your face, but. <laughs> Hold but on, you your, know what? Let that's me. That's just my take. I can dig it. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Because, well, first of all, you say good morning to everyone. If you've, uh, if, 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 <laughs> hey, this is Saturday check. Okay. Um. Yes. So, how can I say this? You know, there was a time when I really did feel as though it was a black white thing, and because of uh, track records. Okay, being in business, DJing or speaking or whatever the case it is, it seemed to be only us that would say, hey, man, hey, Scooby, that's my DJ name. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> what did they do? They say, Scooby, listen, hey, look, I got this birthday party right on. Look, I want these lights and I want the subs and yes. boo, boo, boo. And I said, OK, cool. How many hours? About five, six hours. OK. In my mind, this is about to you know, be a good one. I said, okay, well, yo, well, look, uh, how much that's going to run me, man? You know, I said, okay, well, look, this is how much it is. And so I tell them that their eyes might buck and say, oh, my Lord, I ain't going to pay them. Okay. Hey, listen, <laughs> now you came to me for a reason, but, mm -hmm. but, but, but I've since changed my uh, thought process. Mm -hmm. It's not a black and white thing. It's a mindset thing. It really is, because if you deal with individuals that understand business, you won't have that uh, issue. You yes. see, sometimes we only patronize, like you said, in our community because we want a certain dollar, like the quote unquote black dollar, the black dollar. But ladies and gentlemen, money is green right on. So if you limit yourself to only one demographic, and if we're in the same market, I'm going to outwork your market and the rest of them because I can diversify. But I know where I'm not going to waste my time. You see, I'm not going to waste my time. So that goes back to having those long winded conversations. Listen, you knew when you called me that your budget was only one hundred and fifty dollars, but you want me there for 12 hours. Get off my phone. That means I cannot keep communicating with an individual that can't understand my vernacular when it comes down to business. 
So get your cousin and his iPhone, (laughs) plug up the cord, you dig, and be okay and save your money. Because uh, apparently you don't want this. So I don't think it's a black and white thing. I used to, don't get me wrong. I used Mm -hmm. to because it was like, hey, a certain group, they say, hey, Scooby, DJ Scooby, we love you. How much does it cost for this, this, this? I say it's going to cost this much. Here it is. Mm-hmm. And then had a nerd to give me a tip afterwards, okay? Then you have another group that say, "How much is it gonna cost?" Ah, da, da, da. Ah, okay, well, look, how about how about uh, I give you a hundred fifty dollars and a rib? <laughs> <laughs> a rib? <laughs> wait, a plate? <laughs> wait, wait, are you paying me you in come a... to this fish fry Friday and Listen, get you a plate? You paying me in some sides? If you don't get out of my damn face, <laughs> but we can't. We can't be mad at them. That's right. our standards. So, ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing you can get from this with all the... Uh, <laughs> and it's true. I'm not joking. Like, this is true, true. But yeah. bring your standards up, and individuals will know how to come at you. You dig? So, if they come at you sideways, it's because you're standing sideways. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, if they're coming at you low budget, it's because you work in low budget. You see? We give off the energy for the right individuals. Now, people go test you one time. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> right? Camille, do they test you one time? Listen, if they know better, after that first time, it won't be a two, a twice, or even a thrice. You feel me? Yes. Get me on a good day, boy, you'll stop dead in your tracks and you you won't even you won't even finish your See? sentence. See? And- <laughs> Let me stop you right now, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, but I, I tend not to get, you know, that to that point much. I try to let people get through and then I very nicely tell them and they get the point. But that, that uh, let me go back to this, too. That's why setting your intentions is so important. Mm-hmm. You know, it is that, OK, my goal is to build my business. But you keep having these people come trying to get discounts. Well, if your goal is to make a certain amount, you can't do that when you cont- continually take discounts. So my intention is. Today, I commit to not giving anybody a discount. Mm -hmm. Today, I commit to not undervaluing my services. Today, I commit to, you know, being a business woman, making sure that I have all of those prices and that I don't waver in that. So those are your intentions that will get you to your goal. And it's a day by day thing, you know, and sometimes it's a person by person thing because you might have somebody who you know, has done so much and you really, really, really want to give them that discount or whatever. But, you know, it's just not in your budget. So you have to be committed to yourself, committed to your word, committed to your goal to to continue to do that. You know, I don't ask for discounts either. I never do. Um, But then I don't try to buy something I can't afford either. You know what I mean? And so if I can't afford it, then I go look for something in that price point. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I love that. And, you know, and that was funny, too, because... Now, I, I, I'm be 100%. I asked for military discount at McDonald's. I don't care. You I mean, dig? I, that, but, 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 I you, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, I get you. But now, so, so it actually, and I'm going to be a, real. So it was my wife that told me, she says, if they can only afford this much, only give them this much. You see? Exactly. So mm-hmm. it's a way to help individuals out, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't saying be a, a straight up uh, shark, you know, and we want to work with individuals. But at the same time, if they can only afford, let's say, $200, give them $200 worth of your time. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? And like we talked about before, and and and, and my cousin, he put it up there. You know, locations or different brands don't, mm-hmm. like, you would never see Gucci on the clearance rack. You understand? So your value and knowing your worth, if you will, will help individuals to understand your quality. You mm-hmm. see? But then it is you have to start somewhere. So don't come out the gate with an idea and say, yeah, I'm going to be especially this, y'all. 2021. This is what we're going to do. Right. Everybody. It, let me make sure my make, make sure my mic is up. Can y'all hear me? Listen, everybody ain't a coach. OK. <laughs> hey, hey, hold up one more time. Everybody okay, is not a coach. And you feel me? So, oh, and another one. So, look, check it out. The deal is, how are you going to coach? <clears throat> Listen, Camille, watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sanity check. And if, if, if I'm talking to you, 
Just say you're talking to somebody, okay? But listen, how you gonna be my financial coach right on? But um, hey, somebody just picked up your ride last, you know, last week. You see, because your finances wasn't right. Right on. Hey, how about how you gonna be my relationship coach? You see, now don't get me wrong. Some people have practice. I can coach you. I know, what not to right, do, okay? right. So you don't get in my right, right, right. <laughs> but 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 watch this though. Be willing to put, you know, to advertise yourself, saying, "Hey, I'm the yes. best coach that you don't want to be like." You, if you, if that makes sense. But don't tell me, "Hey, I can help you to keep a great relationship," and you can't keep nana 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 man. Oh, woman, your mind ain't right. You're crazy. See, you got generational curses going on inside. How are you going to help me get out of a paper bag when you still in one? You better get out of my That was bag. all before I found myself. But, but, but you get what I'm, I'm saying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, but let me say this, too. When it comes to this whole work thing, um, you know, before we get in, and I get with exactly what you're saying, there, it's really hard to take advice from a person who can't take their own advice. Period. You know, you can't tell me how to, like you said, get out of a financial situation when you're in financial debt over your head. You know, you haven't learned or put to, to work the skills that you have in order to get out of there. So, you know, it, does it really work? Or are you just telling me, do you even know if it works? Because apparently it's not doing anything for you, you know. But here's the thing I want to say about our businesses and things like that. You know, um, unfortunately, you know, for a lot of people, people of color, things like that, minority groups, uh, we're, we're still trying to build first generation wealth, yes. right? So we don't have the access to wholesale and things like that that other people do. So our our money only goes so, so high. When you buy in smaller quantities, it takes more to, you know, it increases the price. So you can't, we don't have Amazon prices. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We don't have where you can go to the to the um, TJ TJ Max. Somebody said on here TJ Max had Gucci. Yeah, you got the uh, the irregular Gucci. You didn't get the good. <laughs> no, stuff. it's Fluchi. That's yes. all. It's, 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 it might be Gucci, but it's the bottom of the barrel. Maybe that they could not put it in that high. Lu- Lu- Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I think that too, as business owners and, and and people who patronize smaller small businesses, you have to keep that in mind. The overhead cost for a small business is much greater than a um, a bigger business who has been established. Yeah, you can go over there and you can order it off a. Uh, um, of Amazon and you can get a shit from China where they have, you know, all of these warehouses and people have been doing this for years and years and years, you know, but the thing about it is small businesses. I, I noticed that they try to use quality, you know, and, and, and it's, you're paying for that, that product, you're paying for the idea, you're paying for the love that they put into that. You're paying for them that they're taking time away from their family. And, to try and to build building something. up, there you yeah, go. Yes. And so we have to stop acting like, you know, oh, well, I can go get it for $5 cheaper. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're feeding somebody's family. Right. You are, you know, building wealth in our communities. You are establishing or being part of, you know, the foundational building of something that could be great if we stop, you know, five dollars. Really? You know what I mean? We go and we drop five dollars at McDonald's or we lose it throwing stuff away in our purse. But you can't give it to a small business who is trying to do something and also tr- a lot of times trying to give it back to our communities. See, and we want to complain about we want to complain like, it, yeah, it, yeah, perspective. Yep. It's perspective. all. It's you all. You have to look at it. We just don't have that that long money and long businesses. We're trying to build from the ground up, and if we don't support that, it'll never. We'll always be continuing to build, trying to build first generation wealth. And so, yeah, no, no, you're right. You're right. It, it is something to think about, and also too, we can't be mad, ladies and gentlemen, when businesses try to start in the community and then they leave. You see, they leave because they are not they're 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 not getting what they need to sustain. Right. So if they if they go to another business or not business, but different location where people are willing to patronize, that's you know, that's their right. But our job is to understand. So it goes both ways. The the uh, business owner, I'm able to tell you, hey, listen, by rocking with me. It may be this much. However, there's a percentage of this that's going into this. You see that your children, my children can actually use now. 
You see, it's something like it's like having that conversation. But I think we're so diversified in thought that it's not enough of us now it's enough of us in general but it's not enough of us to sustain us because Mm -hmm. we have so many different mindsets we have the i mindset it's more i mindsets than us mindsets individuals don't understand the the acts of nepotism in the whole village right because i can't do this without you wait watch this Mm -hmm. take that back I can do this without you. I don't want to do it without you. You see, I don't want to. I, I love my people. But you know yeah. what? I hate I hate fools. <laughs> you know, okay? I hate fools. Listen, I love my people, but I hate fools. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you understand what I'm saying, y'all can dig what I'm trying to say. And so since we don't know how long we're going to be on this earth, I don't got time to play with them fools. You see? Mm-mm. Don't got time. Yep. So, I mean, that's true. And I just want to say, I know it's a lot of uh, business owners here too, you know, like you said, don't, don't be um, mad when we leave or whatever, but you know, we have to uh, stop, not stop being so loyal to people who ain't loyal to us, but you can understand what I say. You have to diversify your portfolio. (laughs) Look, what you think about this? You know, (laughs) what you think about this, Camille? So what about people selling products nobody asked for? We have to do the market research to make people want what we're selling. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have to look for, you know, it's supply and demand for a reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? There has to be a demand for your product or you have to make people um, understand why they need this product. Okay. So it's not just, a, I got this, ain't nobody got it. Well, it ain't really useful either. You know what I mean? <laughs> And don't get mad if nobody does it if you haven't, like Lily said, done the market research to see if there's an actual demand for it. Here's the other thing, though. If you have an idea and it comes to you, that means there might be a purpose. It might not be a purpose where you're trying to sell it or who you're trying to sell it to. So hold on to it, develop it, do what you want to do, and pitch it. Maybe it's on Shark Tank. Maybe it's on something else, you know, in a different <laughs> area. Stop laughing, Seth. I'm trying to be for real. <laughs> but people do that, but they have these creative ideas. And, and so I don't want to discount that. Um, it just may be a little bit before it's time or it may oh, be, man. you know, in the wrong area. Mm. So um, don't try to force that thing, but find out where there is a demand for it. <laughs> so hey, <I'm> like, <laughs> hey, listen, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Lily, first of all, Lily's out of line, and she know it. But but listen, she's not lying though. And, and I know Camille, I know you're trying to smooth it over. But listen, we be full of mess, you know we do. People be full. Of, look, what? Why, why are you over here making uh uh what what? <laughs> what? Wait, but then you trying to charge me an arm and leg for something that a don't work and b. We don't even have a purpose for it. Like, what are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Look, I'm... T- L- you out of line. I was trying to it over, okay? I was trying to mm, bring mm. the other side. Yeah, I'm crying too, real mm, tears too. Mm, mm. But I get you. I get what you're saying. But don't but get yeah. mad and say you aren't getting the support. Nobody asked for these things. You know, and that's what I'm saying, y'all. Look. But sometimes people don't know what they need until they're confronted with that thing. Stop and it. Then they realize, no, stop it. No. No, they, they know damn well they don't need it. Hey, y'all, y'all just need to support me because I'm just trying to get it. No, no, you're not. You're, 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 not. you're not. But you know, listen, that's why this is a sandy check, right on. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time on, we need to make sure we're connecting. If this is res- with you or connect and say I dig it okay do you dig it can you dig it we can dig it because we need to stop with the mess stop with the mess listen if you want this year to be right for you in your business like Lily said do your market research you understand you understand because why are you trying to make it big with pencil holders with with, with 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 fake Louis Vuitton around it and and mad when don't nobody want it. What are you doing? Oh, look at this. See? No more t-shirts. Hey. Hey. I look, I love t-shirts. Yeah, no, no it, <laughs> we all love them, but come on now. Going into a oversaturated right mm-hmm. market, what are you going to do to make yourself different stand or stand out. apart? Come on now. Absolutely. Come I'm, on. I'm absolutely. 100 percent stop Everything it y'all saying is real look talk, at this you know and who? so we do have to listen who is do- damn it listen mm. listen i'll tell you this 
<laughs> look here with these mixtapes. If you over the age of 30, I'm going to say 30. If you're over the age of 30 and you coming at me with a mixtape, um, first of all, why you got to take 40 year old rapper, 40 year old rapper. Listen, if you ain't made it now, if you ain't made it, made it now, I need you to change your, 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 your perspective. Look at your kids. Right. You probably got kids my age that, that, that you, you trying to get you, but you trying to get in the game. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Y'all Yo, got me on wet today. I'm so tipsy right now. <laughs> listen, look, we went sideways, y'all, but this is but 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 this is good though. See, see, she said see, say 35. No, no. Listen, no, I won't. I won't because I'll be damn. I'm gonna sit here and talk to somebody and they thirsty. Hey, look, man, look, I'm trying to get it. Look, I got bars. No, fool. No, you don't. What? Snickers? What are you doing? Get out of my face. Would you get out of my face expeditiously, as a matter of fact? But look, y'all, we're talking about the promises, all right? The promises. The promises that we make for ourselves. Look, look, yes. Lily, look. Me, I'm, uh-uh, look, I'm, I'm tired of Lily. Right listen, Lily's out of line, okay? Listen, she's going to too yes, many businesses and ventures and pop-up shops. Try to support. I have baskets full of nonsense for trying to build our community. Yes. Doggone. But you have a choice too. You have a choice not to purchase. This. I know. You can say no. You can exercise. I know we try to support. We try to support, <laughs> but damn it, y'all. Listen. Listen. Stop yeah. it. Stop. Oh, man. But, but let me go back because I, well, go I do want to address. I know go Frank ahead. had gotten. Mm, mm, <laughs> she, mm. she was asking, you know, how do you kind of push past, you know, the fears? Yes. Um, you know, to on our way to our goals. And I think this is where um, intentions are so important. Mm-hmm. And we talk about overcoming those things. But I had to, one, you got to address your fears, right? Mm-hmm. So you have to address the fact that nobody may not want your product. You know, like they may not. So what can I do differently? Or is there another product that I can um, also create in addition to that may generate revenue until people kind of get onto that, you know? And so you have to kind of have a plan B for whatever idea that is, not to change it, so to speak, but maybe modify it. And that's the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and that's, that's the one thing you kind of, you kind of, um, you, I had to sit down and write down what, what I was afraid of what my fears were. And then I had to come up with something that basically eliminated that fear. Okay, do I have a fear of public speaking? Um, Why do I have a fear of public speaking? I speak to people all day, every day. You know, I was created to speak. I have a voice. Why am I so afraid of that? Okay, is it that people, uh, I'm afraid of what they may think of me? Okay, and what do they bring to your life? Once they leave that place, they're gone. You'll never see them again half the time. So what if they talk about you? You probably ain't going to hear it anyway because you don't know none of them folks. You know what I mean? And even if you do, it's, you know, that was my first time or whatever. It's a learning experience. You know, please give me criticism, good or bad, so that I can be better the next time. You know, uh, am I afraid that I'm not good enough? Why do I feel like I'm not good enough? Mm-hmm. If people are calling me for my advice or, you know, want me to come and teach and do all these things, is that thought, is that fear really supported mm-hmm. by the things that I have going on? And so you have to identify your fears first, and then you have to confront <clears throat> them, challenge those ideas, and then you have to also come up with something that negates that fear. That's a truth about you. Mm-hmm. That negates that fear. And then you go, what am I really afraid of? So, you know what? I'll take that. I, I, I understand that. And I would take it a step further, but before, <laughs> right? Not like because cause what you said is absolutely right how to fix it. But ladies and gentlemen, and if you're t- just tuning in, this is the sanity check. And we're talking about the process of you know, growing past your fears of um, moving into your own destiny. But what we really need to do, what we really, really need to do is listen. Okay. Listen, 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 because just because you don't like the messenger does not mean the message is wrong. Someone may be telling you something right now that can catapult your dreams to another level, but just because they look funny or just mm-hmm. because they did something to you back in the eighties or nineties and you don't like them. And you know, they, they said you was ugly, but they said something to you that was probably true. Take it, 
think about it, analyze it. All right. Now you don't even got to say nothing to them, but really think about it. Can I elevate based off of this information? information. Right. Like for example, what Camille said, so like being a speaker, how about this being a speaker? Yeah. I like to talk. I like to talk, but can I connect? Mm-hmm. How mm-hmm. can I cultivate my speaking abilities to do what I do naturally, but advance it and enhance it, right? So how about I get with Toastmasters? How about I get a coach to help me to speak better, right? Because the best coaches have coaches, right? And they are, here's another thing, they're coachable. So Mm -hmm. listen, when individuals are trying to tell you something that you think is destructive, it may in fact be constructive if you use it. Yep. And before you react to that, when people do, and I, you know, when people challenge, you know, your beliefs or, you know, you thought you went up there and killed it and somebody goes, mm, fell flat on my ears, you know, you automatically want to get defensive, but you have to know your audience. And if your audience is telling you that this didn't work for them, even though it might've worked 50 other times, you know, okay, what was it about it that fell flat? Be willing you know? to modify. Yeah. Before you speak, Mm -hmm. sometimes I go, you know, and there's things that people don't connect. You're not going to connect with everybody, Mm -hmm. right? And I go, thank you for that. You know, how could I have done it better? And take that information, you know, and it might sting a little bit. You know what I mean? You'd be like, oh, dang, I was like, you know, I thought I was all that, whatever, whatever. It might sting a little bit. But if it's not doing or having the intended result, Mm -hmm then you have to take a step back Mm -hmm. and say, what was it about my delivery or my tone or maybe the words that I used that didn't connect with that person or that audience or whatever and reevaluate that they're Mm -hmm. giving you how they feel. You know, everybody, look, they're going to be haters. People that just going, no matter what you do, how you do it, they're Mm going to say something, but you can tell when it's genuinely like that didn't really, that didn't sit right. Mm -hmm. Or you can look at the people's faces and be like, okay, something you know, I, mm-hmm. I said something off or whatever and asking for that feedback and then building upon that, growing yourself, practicing, honing your skill, you know, in fact, in enhancing your effectiveness is so important. It's Stop very per- it personal. Yeah, you can. Take that stuff personal and use it to your advantage. Exactly. <laughs> They're giving you the answers to the to the test. Yes, yes. So take those answers and, and, and you- build upon on that. Yes, and you said something that made sense too. When an individual is telling you something, <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, so you have to listen with the third ear and watch with your third eye, like she's alluding to. So if a person is saying, you know what, ah, that speech you did, it just wasn't quite right. Just wait, see what they circle back around with. Yes. They can say, well, your last one was better, boo, boo. But if they said, if they could if they really critiqued you and evaluated you, they said, you know what? What mm-hmm. if you tried this? Or how about this? Now, like you said, it may sting, but then when, when you listen to it, and then it's not just listening to it and watching it, understand the relationship that you have with that person. Now, you don't have relationships with everyone like that, but if mm-hmm. someone that's close to you is, is trying to it, help you out, Right. To help you get to that next level in 2021. And you, you but in the back of your mind, it's like, well, look, I've been doing this this long. I'm straight. I'm straight. You're not ready. Mm-mm. And be OK with that. You're not ready. You're not. Mm-hmm. Because if I love you and I'm telling you something, and then mm-hmm. what if I've been doing it forever and I'm just trying to help you on out? Listen, it stopped right there. I just dropped that jewel. You can pick it up. Think it's a rock. Mm-hmm. You did. And I think. I think we have to get away from that. I've been doing this for so long. There's always room to grow because here's the thing, right? People evolve. Mm-hmm. Their level of awareness increases. Yes. You might be talking to them where you think you've, you're enlightened or whatever, but to them, you're speaking to them on a sixth grade level because like they're already past that concept. If you have not got with the times and you're not continually refreshing your mm-hmm. mind, you're not continually uh, seeking out new ideas and staying with the times, you can be left behind. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, it worked every other place. Well, okay, so they got that message that increased their awareness, opened their awareness, and now they're on a new level. That's but right. But you're still teaching them at the first level that they were on. You have to increase and grow with them. Mm. You have to evolve with them. You have to continue. And that's why, you know, the, you got to do it. Hold on. Your hold mind, on. Constantly. Hey, hey you, you just like, said something. Did you say it to me or to the, our people or to yourself, Camille? 
Hey, uh-uh, oh, look on up, look on up, look on up. Look, listen, y'all. When you are, and this is this goes for anywhere you are right now. Take it if you want to. If not, it's all right. It's all right. I keep it for myself. But listen, if you're going somewhere, getting advice, getting any type of counsel, mm-hmm. utilize it first. Okay, apply it first and see how. I guess need it. Like how much more do you need? Do you need this information to sustain or is it transformation? Right. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a group, a teacher a preacher or coach or whatever that's mentally enabling you from saying, Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got it from here, coach, or I got it from here, teacher. You see, let me implement what you gave me so I can really transform. Other than that, I'm going to keep coming back. But watch this. They like it because what you're doing is you you beating that pocket. You did. Come on back here. Look, I got something new for you. Watch this. You remember what I gave you last week? I got something better. Listen, it ain't better. It's the same thing. They just using a, a thesaurus is what they do. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And then watch this. You can hit Google and get all of it right on. So really think about what you're doing. Set your own boundaries because some individuals won't set them because they want more of you for whatever reason. It can be financial gain. It can even be for their own self-righteousness. They want people to keep coming back. To, when are you going to? elevate and say i got it now let me go and and, and do yeah. this mm-hmm. and that's why we do this too seth you know we we give people practical applications mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you can go and get it in a different um it's our experience yes. you know what i mean that we, we bring to it and how we do it we don't always use the technical terms and all this no. kind of stuff I um, won't. and so it's it's your you know that's the the uniqueness i guess that is expressed that in everything that i do you know these concepts are doing it but i'm just putting them in a way that people can kind of chew on for a little bit. That's and right. They can say, okay, this isn't out of my reach. It's not so big. And, you know, using all these terms or whatever, and you get overwhelmed with the terms that you, it, it paralyzes you from acting. Yes. So this is how in real life, we just do stuff in real life, yes. but it still elevates us. It elevates our thinking. It, 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 it increases our productivity and our effectiveness with yes. people. Mm-hmm. And it's knowing your audience, you know, too. And so, um, people do that. So you, you, you do have to be mindful, Mm -hmm. you know, of that and who's taking advantage, who's not, you know, what you're willing to give, what you're not. Um, is it really serving you? Mm -hmm. (laughs) And if it's not, then, you know, you kind of need to cut that away. Um, and that's why it's very important to, to, to know the direction you're going in, set those goals, set those intentions. And that includes with people. Um, if I can real quick, I I just want to say this, there was a a book I'm reading and doing Mm -hmm. a study on, and it's called um, Who's in Your Room? Mm-hmm. And that book is so powerful, y'all. It's about this big, and it's an easy read, but it's so powerful. Mm-hmm. And it's really, um, you know, all the people that come into our lives, um, you know, if there was a door and it had no, no, I mean, a room with one door, it was on the entry and exit, you know, all the people that come in their lives, they bring all the baggage and everything with them. You know, who is in your room? How are they influencing you? You know, do you need a, 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 a bigger bodyguard at your door to say, nope, I'm not accepting this anymore. You know what I mean? Oh, you had your turn to do whatever. You're in my room now, but I'm going to go put you in your corner. Mm-hmm. You will no longer take advantage of me. Mm-hmm. You will no longer ping, pimp out my services. You will no longer do those. And then I'm going to put you in that place back there because, you know, those interactions, once we have them, you can never take them away. Your mind always stores them. But, you know, what we allow that per- the influence that we allow that person to have, we have control over. You know what I'm saying? And so that it's just a very powerful, powerful book for me to really take stock of those influences. Mm-hmm. You know, the people that you allow in your circles. Um, <clears throat> every interaction you ever have is stored in your brain. And something will trigger it. But do I continue to allow it to trigger me or do I create those boundaries around them and say this is as far as you go? Absolutely. 
know, with me. And so that it's that it's that, you know, evolution of, of thinking. It's yeah. that that um increase of awareness and all those things that that really help us to grow and and, and to be and to achieve those goals uh without getting too sidetracked. Yes. You know what I mean? No, no, I get you. I get you. But ladies and gentlemen, it's it's this is really this show is about you, especially the today, all right? Today and being able to move forward. So what we would like to do is give you the opportunity to call in and let us know your promise to yourself. We're willing. We're willing to hold you accountable for real. Say, hey, you remember what you said last time? And it's recorded right on. You said this. You said this. So, but please call in. Let us know, right? And then if you can, just be real quick. Say, this is the promise that I've made for myself. And this is my plan to do it. You get what I mean? Because you can have a plan or you can have a goal, right? And a promise. But without that plan, what is it? It's just something written down. Unless you yeah. know how to get there, how to apply that smart goal mm-hmm. setting. You, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, call us. Call us. The number is below 618-792-6747. And it is wide open if y'all want to call in. So, here, let me give you guys this, though. <clears throat> this is good. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good this morning. is good. Here's a um, a promise. Uh, and, and you guys, let me know what you think about this. Take some time to uh solo travel what do you guys think about that because <laughs> you know and, and i do understand what's going on in the you know with the corona and everything then they're coming out with this uh coronavirus uh tr- a passport that you can't fly without showing people have their thoughts and and about that however <clears throat> it's okay to jump in your car and go yes. you dig it's okay to jump in your car oh hold on we got a call Yay. All right. Hello, hello. Who's calling? Seth and Camille. This is Ardrina Beatrice. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for calling. I am well. Of course. I'm glad y'all back. Yes. I saw last week and I think maybe the week before. <laughs> yeah. But um, to be brief, my promise to self is to trust the you in universe. Mm. And so a lot of things that I'm doing now is spirit led. Mm-hmm. So when I'm walking down the street, and my spirit woman say, hit that corner, I hit that corner. Or even, you know what I'm saying, like rider range. Like, why do I, like, why am I feeling the need to do this? I don't even know where this idea came from, but doing it. And then coming out of that is coming so much. So y'all mentioned traveling. I'm actually going to be getting rid of my apartment within the next few months, and I'm going to Cuba. And I'm going to be living around. Thank you. And I'm going to be living around the areas because all you have to do is leave Cuba 24 hours every two months mm. i can do that mm. so that's what i wanted to say by me trusting me you and universe that is where i'm going right on thank you congratulations thank you. it was always so my good dream to be an expat, likewise so, um, you know always look oh. into it but i want to say this well, what I'm you said tell about y'all. the universe the universe loves speed. There's mm-hmm. a saying that says the universe loves speed. When an idea comes to you, it's expecting you to act on it. And oftentimes when we miss that opportunity or we wait too long, you know, energy or, or, or thoughts are energy. And energy moves. Mm-hmm. It expands and it moves, right? So if that yes. idea comes to you and you don't act on it, somebody else, that, that idea will be like, okay, she waited a little bit long, go to somebody else. And you'll be like, oh, that was my idea. Yes. <laughs> The mm-hmm. universe loves speed. If oh, it comes I to you, act on it. So I love that, that about you, Adrena. I appreciate your Thank comment. You. Um, yes, awesome. I'm, Thank I'm you. Though. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye bye. Until next. So you know, it's it, it it's real. That is real, and and I love that too. And and I think that's what I think that's what came to me as far as that uh, moving at the speed of purpose, right? Because huh? if that is your purpose, if that's your purpose, we put limits on time yes. you get what i'm saying actually we created time right yeah. we said what time it is but the universe don't care like get it in you know what i'm saying if you want it watch this if you want it go get it if okay. not somebody go take it and watch this this is what makes it even better they go take it right in front of you yes listen yes. hey right in front of you to show you you know what you really didn't want it like you said you did hey watch this you you hey, you was just talking mess. You see what I'm yes. saying? You ain't want this. Nah. Right. Hey, but but your enemy did. Yes. They they were open to the idea <laughs> and they acted on it. And the thing is that there are very few original ideas. You know, how many people have walked the face of this earth? See? 
Just think about it, mm-hmm. right? There are so, and that's why when you hear people say, you'd be like, I said that before. I was thinking that before, whatever. Well, did you act on it? No. Now they're over there speaking your, um, or saying your, your, your speech. See? You know, because you did nothing with that. You kept it internally. The universe was trying to get you saying, all right, I want you to act on this. I hold on, wait, hold on. Let, let me, hold on. Let me make sure your microphone is up on this side, because <laughs> I think uh, individuals probably ain't picking up what you're putting down. Now, uh, say that one more time for those in the back, because I know it's some people that's overseas right now watching. You know what I'm talking about? It might take a minute to get over there to Africa and Brazil and all of our people that's watching. So go ahead. Say that one more time. Come but I'm I'm just saying, you know, you have an idea and it's stuck in your head and then you see somebody else and they're, they're saying your speech or that thing, you know, and they're on the main stage. You go, oh, I was thinking that or that was mine or I was whatever. But they were the ones because you did nothing with it. You kept it in your mind. The universe kept pinging you like Adrena said, you know, act on it, act on it, act on it. And you were like, no, nah, making every excuse. Why well, don't the timing ain't right? And I got to have everything perfect first. And, you know, I'm afraid of doing this and this and that. And somebody said, you know what? I'm going to jump and grow my wings on the way down. I'm going to take this thought and I'm going to move on it. And then we're looking at somebody else going, that should have been me. It could have been, but you did not respond to the universe when they were trying to give you the opportunity. And so therefore they wanted to give it to someone who was a, the universe I'm talking about, to, who was a good steward of that idea and who was going to uh, develop it and, and give it to the world as it needed to be given to. You know, so yeah. you didn't do it. I, I you like didn't that. Do it, don't be mad. Uh, you can't be mad. Watch this. So uh, two points, ladies and gentlemen. There are times when you are shaken or awakened out of some good old sound sleep. You understand? What a good idea. Now, what happens is you may have been dreaming about it. And then you said to yourself when you woke up in this realm, "Ah, I just can't do it. I can't do it. Hold that thought. Hello? Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hi, welcome, you. welcome. Who's calling? Uh, this is Annette Peoples. I'm your friend on Facebook. Oh, and okay. DJG is my husband. Okay. So we, we know you. Okay. But right I just on. wanted to call this morning and say that this show has just, you know, Gave you guys did life. a great job. Right on. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank and you. Very, very, very awesome show. Very relatable, very engaging, very uh, stimulating, all of that. But um, I just wanted to call and just tell you all what um, God gave me for this year. Mm. So um, earlier last year, he gave me single words, and it was discipline. So as I was seeking a word for this year, he told me strict discipline. Mm. So a lot of people are playing with it. Hey. So yeah. if you really if you really want it, you need to get up, get out, and go get it. Hey. So um, thank you. Strict discipline. So that's 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 my word. So I just wanted to share that publicly with everyone um yeah. but yeah keep doing what you guys are doing it's amazing thank you and um you all have a great day are right, you too thank it's you for good. calling so no no that, y'all did y'all hear that strict discipline but this is what i was gonna say listen you may wake up out of a sleep out of good sound sleep and you are, y'all remember on color purple god is trying to tell you something <laughs> God is trying to say, listen, sometimes they whisper, hey, guess what? You need to get your ass up and go and do that. Blah, blah, blah. Right? And then you're like, wait, what is it? Ah, oh, it didn't make sense. Why? Because you was dreaming and you don't think that you can apply it here. You see? But you can. So that's the first thought. But the second thought is, now y'all might laugh at this and might think that it's kind of corny. But uh, y'all remember old Martin Cole said, hey, rent a spoons. Everybody looked at him and said, shut up, Cole. He said, I'm telling you, rent a spoons. Okay? Yep. And now, I ain't going to tell the whole thing, but listen, <laughs> when you get one of those rent a spoon ideas, now, it might sound crazy. Now, I know Lily was clowning saying, hey, it's some people, but it's a market out there for mm-hmm. somebody. But if it comes to you, it came to you for a reason. Right on? And like mm-hmm. she said, the universe ain't going with- who are you that the universe, watch this. Who are you that the universe is going to wait, wait for you to get your shit? You know what? Yeah. <laughs> and don't nobody got time for you to get your mind right. You see, because somebody, somebody going to, somebody can dig it. Okay. And go make a fortune in your face. Yeah. In your face. Hey, and listen, you don't, it's a such thing as intellectual property, but it's a nothing called intellectual potential. Yes. Yes. 
And let me say this. I'm going to show y'all what I do because I'm one of those two that I wake up, I have ideas. I think in the middle of the night, I get my best ideas. The ones that I'd be like, okay, I'll wait until the morning. I'm going to write them down. I can't remember them. I'd be like, oh, it was so good. And I can't remember it. Right. So what I start doing was y'all see, this is my notes in one of my phones. Okay. One of my phones. These are my notes. These are ideas and all kinds of other stuff that I had. And it, and it goes on. And I also have one on, on my other two phones that I write those ideas down. The other thing that I do, because I'm one of those two, I can't see in the middle of the night. My eyesight is going bad because um they, they've been around for a little while. <laughs> so it's hard for me <laughs> to adjust to the little fine print. Mm -hmm. But on my voice memos, I get up in the middle of the night. If I have something, I speak into my voice memo so that I can capture it in that moment just as it is. And then I'm able to go back the next day and listen to it and develop it. Y'all don't know how many EPRs I wrote on my phone, okay? <laughs> um, and I have a great success rate with that. But anyway, um, and so I learned to capture that because when we wait on it, Sometimes it goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, hush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking about a Two phones. She a ball and a player. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, I'm moving into my purpose. I'm leaving my career, walking into my purpose. So I have to have a business phone and another, you know, you upgrade after a while. All but right. anyway, so all I'm saying is, and I can't get rid of that phone because it has too many of my ideas and my, and my stories and things like that on it. But what I'm saying is sometimes you have to take that moment and capture it. Mm -hmm. And I literally, mm -hmm. I'm like two o'clock in the uh, and I'm speaking into my phone and I lay it right back down and I'm going the next day. I'm like, Ooh, that was good. Who wrote that? I did. Mm -hmm. Or who said that? I did. Oh Lord, who was speaking through me? <laughs> and so <laughs> those are just some of the things that I've learned to capture those ideas. And then if I can develop them, I do. Or sometimes there's people that I know that can, and I pass it on to them. Hey, I thought about this and you would be the best person for it. You know, the idea may have came to me, but I may not necessarily have the ability to to do it or it would take me much longer than someone else. That's right. And so I, I do share those because I feel like the universe puts it there for a reason. Maybe that person wasn't receptive mentally at the time and I was, but I know that they can carry it out. Mm -hmm. And so I do that. So, you know, just... So yeah, no, that's a good one. And <clears throat> you know what? I got one last one, ladies and gentlemen. And this should have, I wouldn't say should have been a, the first one, but this is something that we should be okay with doing and, and really holding ourselves accountable with this, okay? This might be heavy, but show your nearest and dearest that uh, you love them for real. So there was a post that I uh, put up the other day that says, you know, we as far as people, families, relationships, individuals that's in a relationship, we should make sure we laugh together before God causes us to cry together, right? Because he will, you feel me? He will, And but the deal is, is if there's someone that you, no kidding, say you love, love them. For real. Now, that don't mean you got to accept a mess. You did because you still got to love yourself, but love them. And it's OK. So there are some things we have to do for ourselves to let go of 2020 mess. You feel me? Yeah. Because yeah. It, it's like yeah. it's weird. Some of the things are, are just from 2020 still seeping and dripping over. Listen, it's, it's, it's dripping over yeah. right into yeah. this year. But we have to be able to to be okay like make those men those relationships all right mm -hmm. look who was it who's the bitter one yeah. oh yeah. hold on <laughs> hey look wait wait <laughs> listen if you're sitting here waiting for somebody to say i'm sorry to you yeah and you know that you want to move into 2021 better some of this mess you hold on willfully for no listen mm -hmm. you you got it. Look, bag lady, bag man, you holding on to something that is not going to be able to serve you purpose for this year. And watch this. You might be holding on to it with two hands. So what that mean? How many other hands you got left to grab things that's most beneficial? You feel Absolutely. me? In order to do that, you got to let some stuff go. 
What y'all think about that? Yeah. And you got to let some people go too. Some people cannot go with you to the next season. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you have to love them from afar Mm -hmm. and that's totally okay. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you make amends does not mean that you have to allow them in your active room anymore. You know, you can, you can make amends and then you can just let them be, you know, but it it really is for you to remove some barriers and also sometimes to release them, you know, clear the air. But again, who's in your room, you know, they could be a trigger for some other things that will stifle your growth and everything. So you have to evaluate the the importance that they have in your life, the place that you have. So some siblings are very toxic to each other. You, yes. They may love each other, but they have to, to you know, I'll love you from afar. Mm-hmm. I'll show up for important things. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you say anything, I don't know, I got to leave. You got know what to. I mean? And so you have to create those boundaries in there, too, mm-hmm. so that you don't, you know, get caught back up in that same cycle of same cycle of same cycle of stuff. And so I know I just sounded like a broken record, huh? But you know what, no, no, <laughs> you know what I'm true. saying? But um, so you have to evaluate the importance you have to put them in proper place you have to create boundaries and sometimes you just have to love people from where they are so you know be also mindful of that so forgive because you you need forgiveness everybody the sun is just going in and out but you need forgiveness everybody's you know worthy and deserving of it but um that doesn't mean they have to be come back into your inner circle you know what i'm saying so and it's okay too because listen whatever it was that happened it should have been a a reality or and watch this a sanity check for you sanity right check, yes. because they showed you how they are and it's okay it's it's all right but if you love them you can put the love the the love is there because you truly truly love this person again like i said that doesn't mean that you're going to subject yourself to mess just because you love them listen if, absolutely look look here y'all look if your if your uncle or your auntie crazy as a betsy bug and mm-hmm. it, just because you love them that don't mean you go along and be crazy with them it's okay yes. but guess what they only getting this much of time because i love them now listen yes. if there was no blood it, ladies and gentlemen it's probably individuals in your family right now. If blood did right. not keep you connected, you they probably wouldn't be on your Facebook as friends. You no, dig what I'm trying no. to say? So the fact that, that you love them and that they are family, love them, but don't let them um, prevent what 2021 has for you and then redirect your focus. You see? Absolutely. Mm. Yep. And that's, that's setting intentions, setting mm-hmm. intentions for your family, you know, your goals. I want to be able to love my family. You know, today I commit to just calling and leaving a voicemail to say, I love you that's or it. a text message to say, I love you, you know, or I just, um, you know, I commit to sending a birthday card or a gift, you know, don't have to say nothing, but mm-hmm. those are setting intentions. And it's, it's on the, on the road to rebuild whatever relationship or to um, strengthen where it's at. You know what I mean? Just, I don't want you to feel like I'm so disconnected. I never think of you. I still love you. I just have to love you from here. Hey. And so, you know, creating those things and, and writing those things down and making sure that you do there, you honor your word to yourself, that promise that you've made to yourself, um, that you are choosing things that serve you, uh, getting things, you know, a way that don't, and, uh, you know, going from there, really, I want to say this last thing before we get off of here, Seth, about mm-hmm. setting int- intentions. And I'm going to pull out two things that I t- typically use, but I had to, a lot of people talking about their journal. So I, I have this great journal um, and it's my 2021 journal, but I love this journal. It has the, the day, the hours and all this stuff that you can do it. It has to goals. It has priorities. It also has my weekend review, successes, accomplishments, all this. And then it's also a goal plan. So I literally have places in here to write down my goals, what my next step is to complete that goal, uh, where I'm at in the process for that. It has a month in review on there. Oh, you can't really see it there. Mm-hmm. But anyway, there's a month in review in this one. Um, my personal, professional, and uh, other strategies or priorities, what I'm looking forward to, any new intentions going forward. And then at the same th- it's it's the, um, let me see. It's the live with purpose planner. And then I also bought a separate because I'm a writer, a she's, separate planner. Okay, so journal. she said it's a live with purpose yeah. planner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I have a separate journal where I write and I write and I write, you know, my days, my weeks, whatever I have them done because it gives me a chance to reflect 
on what I did, where I spent my time. So in the morning, I do my schedules. I take time to write in my journal. I uh, plan my things, my goals, and where I'm at. And it keeps me on track. It keeps me accountable to myself. Um, if I wanted to share that with other ones, I do have an accountability partner, and we did a little, I, Camille Thomas, do solemnly swear, you know, um, that this is what we would do. And so it keeps me accountable to my own goals and my intentions that I set for myself. So I would definitely, definitely um, encourage you guys to do that or to list them on some some way. But it's called, uh, this is what it looks like, uh, Live With Purpose 2021 calendar. Um, I, I'm not, you know, endorsing, but it's a really, really good one. And it has most of the elements that I was looking for. And I actually got it half off at Books Million. Okay, good. Well, listen, thank you for that. Thank you for that. And ladies and gentlemen, if if this was a good show, if this was a, if y'all could dig this, and I know we had some some laughs, but they were true, true and honest, and most definitely needed laughs. But please make sure that you're following us right on Sanity Check on our Facebook page, and on the twentieth of this month, you can start to see us. You can binge watch us on roku and on amazon fire stick okay and look for the lion's pride network okay the lion's pride network and we have a lot lot more to share with you but we're about time almost up and uh camille is going to have some uh information for something else she's doing but we're gonna hold it until next week okay we're gonna hold it to next week all right but uh, we love you all we love you all